Hello, hello everybody, and thank you for joining this uh, webinar. Some basic technical information. Uh, if you wish to send us uh, questions, you can do so uh, by means of the bottom on the left top Q and A, uh, and only the speakers can use the audio. All recordings. And the PowerPoint will be sent uh, via email link and they will be available on our website. So it's a pleasure today to introduce to you the sustainable wine production and certification uh, webinar. I am uh, Paolo Bra, I'm the founder and director, friend of the sea and friend of the earth. And today's special guest is uh, Mr. Marco Muggia, director of sales of the company Fossa Mala, an important uh, winery in the region of Friuli in Northern Italy. We are the World Sustainability Organization and we have uh, created over the past uh, 10 years, uh, two major uh, certification programs, Friend of the Sea and Friend of the Earth. Friend of the Sea is a certification of products from sustainable fisheries and aquaculture. Friend of the Earth is a certification of products from sustainable agriculture and farming. So there's currently over 1,000 companies in uh, more than 100 countries which have uh, Friend of the Sea and Friend of the Earth certified products. Fossamala is a winery, as I was saying, is a family owned winery in uh, the Friuli region, north of Venice, in the land of uh, Grave Doc and uh, in the silt and clay rich uh, lowlands of the river Meduna. The winery is a 36 hectare estate owned by the Roncadin family uh, with uh, also an agro hotel and a restaurant. The Fosamala wine has uh, been the first of uh, three wines, uh, which uh, three wines producers which have obtained the Friend of the Earth certification uh, in the past two years. Uh, this, uh, thanks to Fosamala's compliance uh, with uh, Friend of the Earth's requirements, which uh, verify the impact uh, on the natural habitat, conservation of existing flora and fauna, in particular, uh, any endangered species, integrated uh, agricultural management, water, energy, and uh, waste management, and social accountability. But uh, let's let's look uh, more in general at what uh, the few available uh, life cycle analysis of wine production uh, chain tell us about the highest impact phases of wine production. As you can see, there are different phases uh, which uh, use various inputs such as energy, resources, water, land, and generate in the process air emissions, water emissions, waste, and uh, other impacts. Well, surprisingly, the conclusion of basically all uh, life cycle analysis uh, is always that uh, packaging, in particular glass bottles production and cardboard boxes, generate the highest impact on air, water, and uh, soil and land. Also, the vine planting phase, the initial phase of planting the vine uh, with the higher use of fuel and pesticides generate uh, a higher impact. So this impact is uh, basically higher on average than transport and the actually actual winery management. This is uh, the same uh, result shown from a different uh, perspective. And we can uh, clearly see how the impact of uh, pesticides and copper uh, are uh, almost uh, negligible, uh, are almost irrelevant when compared to the impact on air, water and soil and the combined impact of the glass bottles, cardboards and even cork closures. So, it is clear that uh, also in consideration of the cost relevance, it would make sense to implement impact reduction measures 
such as uh, lighter glass bottles or change uh, closures produce uh, alternative uh, cleaner energy at the winery and uh, reduce packaging waste. Another quite uh, surprising information we get from uh, various LCAs, life cycle analysis, is that uh, integrated pest management, uh, very similar to the sustainability requirements for uh, uh, good uh, agricultural management practices requested by Friend of the Earth certification, score better in terms of uh, lower environmental impact when compared to organic or conventional. Also, the bigger the farm, the lower emissions and use of resources such as water and land. Of course, this is, uh, these are average conclusions. There are also smaller companies, smaller farms, which uh, can be very much lower impact, as we see, as we will see with uh, Fossamala, and uh, as well uh, in organic. Uh, there, there could be some companies which go even farther than what are the requirements, and thus would perform even better. As far as social accountability, uh, wine uh, must comply with uh, social accountability through all the steps of the production and consumption chain. As we can see from the image on the right, which is taken from uh, requirements of uh, uh, sustainability certification. However, in some countries, there are uh, controver controversies about uh, mistreatment of workers namely in uh, some cases in New Zealand, in California, in South Africa, and in some places in Europe too. As far as consumption is concerned, there seem to be both beneficial for the intake of antioxidants, for example, in uh, limited amounts of wine uh, consumption during the day, as well as uh, socially detrimental impacts, which are very well known. So there is a plethora of wine certifications out there. However, uh, organic wine has a uh, low environmental impact and it represents only 3.6% of the market in uh, 2018. So it's a very niche uh, market and uh, biodynamic is much is even lower. And all the other uh, labels that we see here reproduced, and uh, at the local level, there are many others also in Italy, are again uh, uh, local and uh, wine-specific certifications. So what are the, the difference between these certifications and the uh, uh, Friend of the Earth certification? Well, there are many um, strong points of uh, the Friend of the Earth certification for, uh, sustain for products from sustainable agriculture and farming. Uh, but the two main ones uh, that I would like to highlight are the fact that it's an international certification and multi-product. So it does not apply only to wine. There are different checklists which are applicable to other agro products. So in the long term, uh, this makes the certification uh, more uh, reliable, more applicable, and uh, also uh, more visible. So there's already among the products certified by Friend of the Earth, products like uh, coffee, quinoa, rice, uh, oil, and wine. So we believe that this is the best approach. We, we get this conviction from the, from the experience uh, carried out with uh, Friend of the Sea that the certification has to be international and multi-product uh, to be successful. A local certification can hardly be trusted uh, by uh, foreign markets. So with this, I conclude uh, my introduction and uh, if uh, the, the technical uh, setup here allows us, I would like to pass the word to Marco Muja of Fossamala. So thank you, Marco, and uh, please feel, feel free to 
to tell us about Fossamala philosophy and uh, how you apply the sustainability principles to your production. Thank you. Thank you, Paolo, and thank to all the Friend of the Earth organization, also not, not only for inviting me, but for the work that you already done uh, and what you're already doing every day because uh, especially in the agricultural sector uh, uh, we feel uh, we i mean the people that has i don't want to say my generation but i mean a generation of new producers uh, they feel the need of uh, a better and deeper knowledge about the uh, impact of their work on the environment and on society. And the things that I appreciate more about your um, your presentation, your introduction, because also mentioned the relationship with, with uh, workers, with people that work in uh, the agricultural sector. We are focused using the wine production sector, so as an agricultural producer, so not just a filler uh, that buys outside and uh, uh, fill bottles and, and sell them. It means produce grape to transform them and then to, um, uh, to sell them, of course. Um, the first step, uh, we can get to, to the next one, please. Thanks. Um, the first thing for us is, in my opinion, to have a look about the different approaches on sustainability. So, uh, as you see from the uh, carbon foot, which is one of the most important, the chemical impact, so depends on the final product, the environmental impact, so hydrogeological management, which is a really close related with uh, agricultural production uh, the impact uh, on insects and in general on the adults and, and the social impact as mentioned you can get to the next one carbon footprint uh, uh, we, uh, we are focusing on three different uh, main uh, and then, uh, energy consumption. So the first one is the ammonium fertilization because ammonium requires energy and um, we say that it comes from the um, uh, gasoline or carbon coke. So this is for grazing or connection for the for the color and the room that's one of the most so do, do not uh, take out uh, the prune residual of the wine yards but to let them not only for saving uh, uh, energy and fertilization but be because the, the quality of the fertilization is more than the percent and machines that on strikes at the same time also help us to save energy in terms of gasoline. Uh, and then with that, uh, that comes the boost cooling, which is uh, an important phase for us because uh, it's really close to uh, the future wine, wine quality. We use it uh, for this. Uh, uh, for this goal, uh, uh, so for energy, you have to enter solar land, uh, 350 plus solar implemented, on, so not on the ground, on the roof. Uh, uh, the next, uh, the next uh, sheet shows the effect. Chemical impact is uh, important because wine production is uh, uh, right now the second variety in Europe for the uh, for the environmental impact, and so you can see there are different approaches: the inter the convention, the conventional, so we can say the traditional, the biological, and then the organic. 
The main difference are that conventional is uh, not right now. In fact, uh, uh, different compounds are different loaded in this uh, um, in this mine uh, of production, but right now you cannot uh, produce wine only in the conventional way. The most shared and diffused in Italy is integrated. So it means synthetic molecular are allowed, but they are uh, regulated, is regulated by cover timing. So the time between the last intervention and uh, the half. There are a minimum threshold. So it means that you, you, you are going to use a lower quantity of synthetic compounds because you will uh, create uh, minimum damage and plan from this and uh, um, parasites. And then there is the danger of a residual, which is in, in the grapes. So if you look at the, the, the tolerance time, you will have a residual into the grapes. This is mean different with because of course, uh, uh, not low to use synthetic molecules, but allows to use copper and sulfur, but the residual will be only on the grapes. Another different is that for using uh, copper and sulfur, you will be uh, you will uh, get into the wine yard for treat uh, more or less uh, after every rain. So it means you will use probably a higher quantity of product uh, instead of uh, a synthetic product which has a shelf life around 10 to 14 days. And there comes the organic. Organic, unfortunately, is quite hard as a management because, um, you know, uh, it's uh, not so fast uh, as a cure as uh, copper, sulfur, and the uh, synthetic compounds. Anyway, is the target that has any uh, wine productor modern and with a sense of respect for the environment has to think about. The next sheet will show us about, uh, uh, now it's coming, I believe. Yes. Yeah. Uh, I'm, so, I'm sorry, I cannot see it. Okay. Um, uh, is about our approach. Uh, as I was telling you, uh, since we are located in one region in Italy with the highest average rainfall, uh, we had to uh, deal with it. So for producing a wine that has to be sold, not only consumed by us, of course, but consumed by a consumer that has to pay for a, a, a good quality product, product, not only in terms of environmental impact, but also in the organolectic quality, we had to share two different uh, uh, approaches. The first one is the um, integrated pest management, because it's the only one that allows us to keep a minimum standard of quality that will remain the same year by year. The second one is on the new uh, implants. So we are going to have new implants in the biological optical because of two years ago, the Udine University released uh, new uh, grape varieties obtained by uh, cross and selections. So I, don't, I, don't, I do not mean uh, GMO uh, organism, but uh, planted. Um, sorry, uh, uh, selected for be resistant to the main uh, pest that affects uh, the wine production. The next, the next step, uh, I mean the sheets, is on uh, okay environmental impact. Uh, the main uh, key for, for us. The philosophy. First of all, the producer must be updated must uh, study, must be prepared for uh, keeping the, the production in the, in the right uh, philosophy for the right place. Insect controls, compost. Uh, those are two different sides. 
but uh, in real project management, in a difficult way, uh, as the uh, uh, both biological and integrated are, um, the keeping predators of uh, the insects into the wild will uh, will allow you to use a lower quantity of uh, um, compounds on insects uh, controls. And then comes the agricultural infrastructure because, of course, uh, if you have a gas between the different stripes, if you put uh, the, um, the in a mechanical way, uh, or you do, uh, if you work by hand, those uh, different uh, choices uh, from the company has different uh, uh, effects on the environment and the the, the thing that uh, our uh, professional people has to keep in mind is that you have to choose the right one for the right situation. The next uh, sheets, uh, thank you, Paolo, is the social impact. We already said uh, uh, we as a company we have a, a, a rule in terms of, of the service we will give to our company. We have a rule as a producer that has people, not, not machines, but people that works in the company. And so find the people as particular moments and, and it's an um, a main uh, reason for us to keep uh, uh, a different uh, um, behavior with the different people. And that's quite important. And we must, uh, not only small companies uh, as, us, but, as us, but also bigger company, we all have to keep in mind that we are working with different people. That's important. The next uh, sheets. In response, um, I have to be honest with you. Uh, it has not been so easy to uh, to make, make a synthetic. Uh, uh, I don't want to, a synthetic sheets about uh, how the market uh, uh, receive our uh, our investment and our rule in the on the environment because uh, you have uh, different. Uh, uh, spreading approach, so you come from an opposite to the other one. There is people, our customer, really focusing about uh, uh, how you are feeling about the production. If you are uh, thinking about your uh, impact uh, on the environment, on the other side, there is people that uh, is only interested in uh, quality, a relation between quality and prices. So it's Easy for us, but we are uh, focusing on improving our um, our approach because of, we know that in twenty years, maybe ten years, we also we all uh, five years there will be a, a, a better norm. So it's not only about uh, uh, a, just a certification, but it's a social rule from a company. Also for uh, educating the consumers, because consumers must be the first one and asks for specific mention and specific uh, um, in terms of reducing our impact on the environment and improving our impact on the society. Uh, uh, I believe I finished and. Of I'm uh, at your search for any question. As the first thing, as a language to uh, my English and to say is thank you one more, uh, once more for to um, friend of the Earth organization for uh, this webinar. Well, thank you very much, uh, Marco. I think uh, there was uh, some slight uh, uh, issues with the audio, but. Uh, I believe with the help also of the writing, uh, the, the message uh, passed through and I hope that uh, uh, the, the audience found uh, the information we provided interesting. 
Uh, I'm launching now a small poll uh, while uh, that you can answer while uh, we uh, look at the questions, if any, and uh, and and answer them possibly. Um, okay. From my, my side, I can. Okay. So it will be really interesting and important. And sector has specific rules, so important. Okay, great. So uh, there's a question about uh, ISO. ISO fourteen thousand and one is about the environment. Why didn't you consider ISO twenty six thousand uh, on uh, corporate social responsibility? Uh, it considers environment, but also social econ and economic. Yes, the, thank you, Morgan, for the question. Uh, I think it refers to the part of the presentation that I've shown uh, and to the plethora, let's say, of uh, labels uh, out there. Uh, of course, that uh, was uh, only a subset of the total uh, possible uh, labels one uh, can show. Uh, we are very well aware of the importance uh, of uh, corporate social responsibility, of social accountability. In fact, uh, from the start, both in Friend of the Sea and Friend of the Earth, uh, we have uh, included uh, requirements on uh, social accountability, which over the years we are improving and uh, strengthening. So yes, definitely, I saw 26,000 and probably other uh, labels uh, could uh, have been uh, out there to add up. Um, <clears throat> what I think uh, is important uh, to understand is that uh, consumers want uh, things easy and simple. And uh, those uh, who are aware and sensible to uh, environmental impacts uh, of uh, food production and social impacts uh, uh, would prefer, would opt for a label which cover, covers all those aspects, which provides a, an easy to understand uh, message, which covers both environmental and social impact. And as I said, uh, which is uh, uh, international and multi-product. That's why we, we follow this approach as friend of the earth. And then um, there's a question about uh, perhaps uh, merchandising uh, on bottle to tell the story. But yes, sure. Uh, I think, well, some companies are already doing this. Um, let's see if uh, for Samala, is uh, I will turn the question to Marco and I apologize Marco but I cannot uh, for some technical reason I cannot show you on the screen but the people have your uh, picture uh, on uh, on the second slide um, uh, Marco Marco uh, is uh, uh, Fosamala uh, what is Fosamala doing in terms of communicating uh, or you have been planned to do in terms of communicating uh, also on the bottle uh, about uh, uh, your certification uh, uh, or not only friend of the earth, but your other engagements and achievements uh, in terms of lowering the impact. I mean, I know that your uh, solar plant has been uh, the first and biggest, uh, I think, in uh, Italy in uh, wine production. Is that mentioned somewhere or uh, you have been planned to do something more on that? Mentioned channels, of course, uh, because it, we are proud of it. <laughs> I have to be honest. Uh, on the other hand, we have technical problems about what we can uh, do about it. So, this route dies on uh, as a friend of the earth. But, uh, for example, for the biological production, there exists a logo and it is really uh, strictly, as it, uh, and it's right like that, in my opinion, is uh, uh, strictly um, prescribed, um, I, I, uh, I don't know how to translate it, I'm sorry, is uh, strictly 
dictated banks uh, is a strictly regulated uh, their use. Uh, the, the back label has not an, an effect. And since we are just uh, left a big bottle uh, for a smaller one, for uh, saving uh, uh, a bit of CO2 during transport and uh, uh, um, and the production of the glass in himself, of course, uh, there is not uh, enough space on the back label. Uh, and I have to say that uh, also the consumer, in my opinion, must be uh, interested in deep in those matters. So it's important that the market goes on the right channel for getting the right information. Of course, um, a structure like a friend of the earth, for, for example, that uh, tells our story and to whom we can link partners can help uh, the world of us to have a better knowledge about the product and his origin. Okay, thank you very much, uh, Marco. We have a last question about shelf uh, talkers. Yes, uh, definitely more information uh, is needed also for wine and for those companies which uh, are engaging the, to be more sustainable. So there's no more questions, uh, but uh, you can always write to us. Uh, you have all the contact information, of course, already. And um, I wrap up. Uh, I, I thank everybody for uh, listening and for following this uh, webinar. Uh, let me just remind you that on the it's actually going to be the 15th of January, 1-5 of January, there's going to be a new uh, webinar on Omega-3 sustainability with a special guest, uh, KD Pharma. So we will send you the invitation and uh, stay in touch. Thank you very much. Uh, we will send to you all uh, the um, complete registration uh, of the webinar video and also the PowerPoint. Thank you, Marco. Thank you, Paolo, and thank you all of you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.